Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Modesty33 here, AKA Chris with a C. Back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on a welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put on one or two videos a week. I do sit downs, reviews, reactions, vlogs. So if any of that interests you, make sure you check out the prior videos on my channel. And if you see anything you like before you leave, make sure you subscribe. So today you guys are actually gonna be doing a one year review on two uh, fine jewelry pieces that I do have um, and from different brands. And then at the end, we're gonna do a reveal i don't want to call it unboxing because i already unboxed it i was that excited and eager so we're gonna do a reveal after i talk about my one year review of these two items so guys it has been one year since i purchased these two beautiful pieces right here um and i guess like the purpose of this video i just kind of want to share my thoughts as far as how i feel about both of these pieces a year later and then also because of the fact that i know there's so much emphasis behind like the luxury brands but there's still especially as it relates to jewelry there are other brands that are out there that have beautiful items that are maybe more in your price range that you can look into as well if you're wanting to adorn yourself or if you're wanting gifts anything like that um, for yourself or from another person that might be um, more in a digestible price range from other brands so I just want to kind of talk about my experience with these two rings from different brands one luxury and one is just a regular jewelry jewelry brand so we'll start with the Cartier so this is actually the first one I purchased last year um, give you the brief story and the abridged story I guess and I'll talk about the um, details of this ring so what is this ring right here this is from the brand Cartier um, it is called the just on clue which means just a nail I have the website pulled up here because I am not an expert on Cartier uh, this was actually my first piece and I purchased it again a year ago so before that really I hadn't been following Cartier for luxury jewelry or anything like that I'd heard of Cartier but um, I didn't really I didn't I didn't follow Cartier I didn't really know I didn't know even about the love bracelet like and that seems to be one of those universal things that people know about but I didn't know anything about it I think I would see the bracelet and I was like eh, okay whatever so um but let me give you the details of this ring this is in the small version when I went to the store last year I did try on the small as well as well as the regular size version and I really preferred the small size just because um, I felt like it looked better on my hand. It was daintier. And um, I mean, of course it was cheaper as well, but I felt like the thicker one almost seemed like it made my hand look bigger. And it felt like it just kind of was more substantial on my hand, which I felt like it was something that was gonna bother me after wearing it for um, so long. Whereas this one, I can honestly sleep with this one and I don't have any issues. But um, yeah, the regular one, um, yeah, like I said, it just kind of felt like a snake was choking my finger. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how else to describe it, but I think I do have like some clips or maybe some pictures of when I did go into the store. Probably not when I went into the store, but probably like um, afterward or just some pictures of the different rings that I tried on. So look back at that, you guys, if you're curious. But I just was really wanting this. I had started hearing about it. People on YouTube were talking about it. Of course, that's where everything I find out, you know, about stuff is on YouTube typically. But I've seen some people with this particular ring and it just really caught my eye and attention more so than probably the love ring, which is kind of your, um, you know, standard band uh, with, you know, some engravings in it. But this one just seemed more unique to me. It just seemed like it was... I don't know just I don't know just something about it I really liked and so this was definitely something I was aspiring toward and then last year after I paid off my student loan uh hooray yes um that is yeah a good memory that's attached to this ring I just paid off my student loan and it was something I was really wanting so I did decide to go ahead and splurge and purchase it for myself um back last year in April I think it was like April 9th of last year when I purchased this um and i was super duper excited this is in the yellow gold um it does come in the yellow gold rose gold as well as the um i want to say platinum or white gold I, I don't know um or palladium i don't know what they call their white gold but it's it's essentially like a white gold so yeah this is a small size um so it is in the 1.8 millimeter um i don't know if that means much to you um but yeah you can find the other details on the website 
Um, I went into the store and tried on different sizes because I feel like that's very important, you guys. Um, the thing about this particular ring, which is something I have to keep in mind, is that this cannot be resized. So if for some reason it does not fit on any of my fingers, I would probably have to sell it and repurchase a new one at the new price or um, I just have to, you know, call it quits and just, um, you know, um, cut my losses essentially. Um, if I didn't want to pay that to repurchase it. But I know when I talked to the um, sales associate, he did say that a lot of people, if for some reason they can't fit the ring on any one of their fingers, they do sell it and then repurchase a new one. But yeah, the price has increased on this piece since I purchased it. Um, so you do have to keep that in mind. You sell it. Um, maybe you're, maybe you get, you know, all your money back. Um, and yeah, then you'd have to pay the additional price to repurchase it. So um, but this one is in a size 60, um, and I wear this. This does fit on my middle finger here. It fits on this finger. This is the finger I think I actually purchased it for, and then it does fit on my thumb. So it fits on, um, what, like six of my 10 fingers, because it also would fit on this hand too, but I don't, yeah, I don't use it on that hand. I use it on this hand. So, um, yeah, I absolutely love this. I've slept with it. I don't really shower with jewelry because I don't, then I don't see the purpose. I don't need to. My hands do get dry. So I always remove my jewelry before like showering or even um, washing my hands unless I have to keep it on when I wash my hands um, for some reason. But um, yeah, other than that, I usually will take it off to wash my hands or to shower. Um, I do wear it to bed sometimes and it does not bother me at all. Um, but usually now I will take it off before bed just because like, I want my hands to be free. So that's pretty much the details on this one. Um, I absolutely love it. Every time I see it, um, yeah, I, it's the memory attached to it of like that accomplishment of paying off my student loan. So, you know, and the nail kind of signifies hard work. So yeah, I just delight in seeing it. Um, and that I was able to get this first piece for myself last year. Um, you know, I feel like I've gained weight, I've lost weight in the past year. It's just been a fluctuation. Um, you know, still on the journey to lose weight personally, but it does still fit um, really well on all my fingers. Even if I'm walking outside, even with swelling, it does still fit on my hand. So that's really good. I haven't um, you know, grown out of it, I haven't gotten big to the point where, yeah, it's tight on my hand and I haven't gotten small enough, unfortunately, where, you know, I would have to be in that position to sell it and it would be falling off my hand. So I haven't gotten into that position. So it has stayed pretty steady for the past year. So, um, if you guys have any more questions about this one, let me know. I absolutely love it. I would highly recommend it. Um, there are barely any scratches on it as far as wear and tear. Um, yeah, it looks pretty much like the day I bought it. It looks a little bit dull, but I'm certain um, I can get it probably polished or cleaned and it would look brand new again. But yeah, you barely see any scratches. Most of the scratches are going to be on like the nail head, but I don't really look at that part. So it doesn't, it's not really apparent. Um, so I really like that it's like a three dimensional piece. And again, you don't really notice any scratches. It pretty much, like I said, looks like the day um, I bought it last year. So and I know a lot of people have complaints about the regular love band because it does scratch easily. It is that soft. This is 18 karat gold, so it is the soft gold. So, um, you know, in a flat band, you probably will see a lot of scratches almost immediately after you purchase it. So that's what I really like about this piece is, again, like I said, it looks like the day in which I bought it. So I think for me, it was worth the money. I really love it. And I would highly recommend it. Personally, if you're looking to get into Cartier, like it's, it's a nice piece in my opinion. Okay, so enough of that. If you have any questions, comment below. Let me know what your questions are specifically about this piece, but we're gonna go ahead and move on. So the next piece I wanna talk about is from a brand that I've purchased a few different jewelry pieces from over the years. And yeah, usually if I'm looking at jewelry, I will look um, at K, K's Jewelers or K Jewelers first. Just because I've, I have a relationship with them and I've, you know, been purchasing intermittently from them, in, you know, for years, usually you can find something at a decent price and they have a lot of sales throughout the year. So, um, and then sometimes you can kind of work with the, you know, the manager or whomever and they might give you like an extra 5% or something off. Um, depending on the piece and, you know, how motivated they are to sell it. So um, this piece right here, I purchased very soon after this one. Like again, this one was purchased, I think April 9th. This one was purchased April 14th. 
Um, this one is kind of a motivation, um, kind of, I guess like I was motivated a little bit by seeing the jewelry of other people on YouTube. Um, and I really wanted a substantial type of ring. I really like this kind of three layered um, look. So I did go on Kay's website and I was looking specifically for like a ring such as this that had the multiple layers, just again, because again, I was wanting something a bit more substantial. Um, and then I did find this on the website. This is part of the True North collection. Um, I'm gonna just read what the description is. It's no longer on the website. I couldn't find it on the website, but um, I think they do still sell it. So, um, but this is the True North diamond ring, um, 3 4 carat, um, 10K white gold. So that's it right here. And yeah, I purchased this, I think April 14th of last year. I had a lot of um, issues after I purchased this. Um, just with the sizing was a big issue. Um, and it had to be resized like two or three different times before it ended up, you know, getting corrected. So this size right here is a 9.75. Um, it's a little, like kind of a little loose, but I like that because it doesn't feel very tight on my finger. So um, I do like the size. And then, you know, my finger's a little fat too. So even just kind of taking it off, it still has some resistance, but it's just kind of like here, there's a good bit of space. But I like that. Like I said, if I do swell, um, it's, I can still wear the ring. So that's not an issue. Um, this ring, um, since it does fit on my middle finger, it does fit on, you know, my first finger as well as my thumb. They're all about the same size. So this ring does fit on like six of my 10 fingers as well. But I always only wear it on this hand. Um, I just really love this. I just feel like it sparkles, it shines. Um, it's really, really beautiful. Um, when, you know, I did get the correct size and I've been able to wear it. I've absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, like, and it was at a really good affordable price. It was definitely less money than this one, probably like what, three, $400 less. Um, but you do typically, I will get the extended or the lifetime warranty on these pieces just because, um, if something ever really happens to it, um, they will go ahead and replace it. They inspect it, all that jazz. So I usually do get the lifetime warranty. You just pay that one-time fee. So, but even with that, this was still less money than the Just Unclue. Um, and you see, like, again, it's got all these diamonds, like, all the way around. But it's just, like, three-fourths of a carat. But um, it definitely sparkles. It shines. And you kind of see this is like the band. So this one, as far as wear and tear, most of the wear is on the bottom part, you know, where you set your hand down. It does have some scratches on this portion, but that's the portion nobody sees. So, I mean, I don't really care. But other than that, like it has held up really well. I wear this ring every day. I wear both of my rings every single day. I don't really go anywhere without them unless I forget, but I typically don't. Um, but yeah, like I love, love, love this ring. Um, somebody asked me in the comments about it. They were asking about it as far as a retirement ring. But yeah, I think it's a really beautiful ring. I know one of my aunts, she saw this ring and she really loved it and she purchased it when she got back home. So we're twins. But yes, um, I have no complaints about this ring. Um, outside of, again, the customer issues or not really customer issues, like, you know, Kay's, they handled it, but it just was like, why can't we get the size of the ring right? Like outside of those issues last year, um, other than that, I've had no actual issues with the ring itself. So, um, and again, this was, I think this retail was in front of me, $799. So like $800 is what this ring retailed for. Whereas if you probably got a ring like this from Cartier, it'd probably be four or $5,000, if not more. Um, so just because again, there's that differential with Cartier being the luxury brand and having that name behind it in the prestige and other brands, um, and other jewelers are a lot more affordable. So with jewelry, you do have a lot of leeway. It just really depends on your budget. So, um, yeah. And what your style and aesthetic is, what you're looking for, what type of look you want to achieve. So I really wanted something substantial on this hand and I really wanted the Justin Clue with this hand. So I was able to achieve both. And again, I love both of these rings and they, yeah, 
I think they both of them will stay in my collection for quite a while as far as jewelry is concerned. Now, um, I know we're like 15 minutes in, um, but just want to give that review on both of these items since it's been a year. I want to show you guys the new item that I purchased. You guys, again, this is not an unboxing. This is a reveal because I've been wearing it. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I picked this up on Thursday. It was something that I did uh, when I purchased this item here back in February, like around Valentine's Day. Um, it was an item I was considering getting, but I elected to get this one instead. It was number one, a lot cheaper. And um, then to, um, yeah, like I was not certain if I really wanted it. I was kind of caught up between a few different things. So, um, but I could not get it off my head. And then ultimately I decided that I really wanted to get this item. I went ahead and purchased it now because I heard that Cartier is having a price increase next month in May. I don't know if that's true or not, but a lot of people are saying it. So um, I knew already that I, this was something I definitely wanted for my birthday in June. So I went ahead and purchased it now. Let me show you what it is. It came in this bag here. So it is a Cartier item. So like, yeah, my second Cartier item this year. Is it this bag? Yeah, it is this bag. So it did come with a certificate of authenticity. Um, and then it did come in this box. So it is a ring. It's another ring, you guys. But um, I'm so glad I went this route. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. We're going to stop talking about it because we are a good bit into this video. Okay. So you see this. Wait, which side has the... Hold on. Which side is it? Lord, I see it, but I don't see it. Oh, okay, it's this side. I was like, it's a little stuck. What's going on? All right, anyway. Um, hopefully this is the right box. I pushed, I pulled two of them out. I don't know if this is the right one. Hold on, let me look myself. No, this isn't the right one. Sorry, guys. I got you excited for nothing. So this is probably the box that my Justin Clue came in because I pulled both of the bags out. Just, you know, for the thumbnail. So it actually came in this one. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> so we're going to go through that process again. So I think that's the wrong certificate of authenticity. So, yeah. So this should be the right certificate of authenticity. I haven't even opened it. I was so excited. I had the lady, the sales associate, package it up because I intended to do an unboxing. But you guys, I was so excited that when I got to the car, I was like, the ring was calling out to me. And I was like, no. You must, yeah, it was it was saying the precious, the precious had to be on my finger. So, none other to reveal. What is this? Oh my gosh. I'm super excited, you guys. This is, oh, I didn't even pull up the description of it to give you. But this is the Clash ring from the Clash collection. Um, I think this collection came out from Cartier in 2019. So, it's fairly new. Um, quite up there in price, but um, I did go for, I tried this ring on in February. This is the um, small clash ring and it is in the rose gold. Um, oh my gosh, guys, this is substantial. I know when I looked at reviews and stuff, people were saying, oh, it's a heavy ring. They have a size that's bigger than this, but this is the one I really wanted. And then the bigger one is like, a good bit of money you guys <laughs> this one was a good bit of money but the bigger one definitely is a good bit of money so um i really was wanting a ring to wear with my just clue initially what i was going to do is kind of this number but that does not look right to me so um and this was like the last well they said it was the last size this is a size 60 they said it was the last one in the company. You know, they be saying that stuff. I don't you know if it's true or not. And then if I didn't mention it or not, I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, my Justin Clue is also a size 60. So this is the way I've been wearing it, you guys, like this. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I could not wait to open it. I'm so sorry, you guys. I deprived you of the excitement, but yeah, I ripped it open in the car, even though I intended to do an unboxing and I've been wearing it since I picked it up on Friday. Today's Sunday. I picked this up on Friday and I've been, we've been living our little blessed life together. Um, or just our great life. I'm not going to say our blessed life. I'm just, I just had a teaching about that, you know, today. Um, as far as the meaning of the word bless. So being blessed is having, being in right relationship with God. It's not about material things. So I'm, one, I'm gonna put out that little snippet. Um, you know, I'm putting that out there, you guys. So hopefully, 
Well, if, you know, if you offended, I'm sorry. You know, it's people get offended by too much lately. But I had to put that out there because I used the word blessed and I actually learned about that in, in service today about the true meaning of blessed. So it has nothing to do with your socioeconomic status. It's about being in right relationship with God through Jesus Christ. So if you don't believe that, that's your prerogative. But I'm going to put that out there. I'm not yeah, editing that out of the video. So, but yeah, this is what, back to the ring, this is what it looks like on my, you know, finger here. Um, and like I said, I rotate between wearing my rings on this finger or the middle finger. Now, if I wear this ring because it is all the way around, you see it has these ridges. So if I do wear it on this finger, I'm starting to get used to it on the middle finger, but it does kind of protrude a little bit. So it does feel a little funny on these other two fingers. It feels perfect here. But um, today I did wear it on like the middle finger and I'm getting used to kind of the feeling and sensation. So this is what it looks like here, you guys with these stacked and again this is the yellow gold my justin clue and this is a rose gold it does not come in the yellow gold the clash ring it only comes in the rose gold i really like the subtle contrast between the two but you guys i've been sleeping with these rings both of them on since i got this on friday and i've had no issues like oh my gosh i absolutely love it maybe it's not you're not getting the full effect of it on you know camera it is getting dark here it's a bit later but Y'all, I'm gonna, let me look up the ring so I can give y'all the details. So I just wanna give you guys the description of the clash in case you're curious, but you can also find everything on the actual website. So this is the rose gold, like I said, um, and it's Clash de Cartier ring, small model rose gold. The width is 6.4 millimeters. That's pretty much all they have on the description on the website. But um, yeah, this is kind of like an early birthday gift. I knew I wanted to get it for my birthday in June, but I wouldn't want to pay the extra price. Um, so yes, this is what we've done. Um, and I'm tempted to do another thing. <laughs> I'm tempted to do another thing. If I do it, I'm gonna let y'all know. But um, yeah, I'm, I, the wheels are turning in my head behind different things I wanna do as far as jewelry is concerned. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna probably make another appointment with my sales associate and to look at a few other things, but um, I might be selling something and I might be subsequently buying something else. I'm not gonna say any more though, because we're, we're the wheels are still turning. I'm still deciding and trying to make up my mind. So yes, these are the three rings. I'll probably come back to you guys. Um, I don't know if you have any questions about the clash ring, but if you do comment below, I'll come back to you guys with any, you know, to answer any questions and definitely for an update and talk about wear and tear on this item as well probably next year unless you want a sooner update but um yeah i think again um as far as wear and tear i feel like yeah these items in particular um the just clue um definitely has good wear i expect this one to have good wear as well especially because it's not flat it is the 18k gold but it's you know three dimensional so it's not flat like the like I said, the love band, which you definitely can see the scratches. I don't feel like you're gonna see any scratches on this clash ring. Um, and like I said, like the, the medium sized one was really big and people were saying that it is very heavy. This one is a heavy ring, like this is a sturdy ring, y'all. So the bigger one definitely is gonna be weighty, but it's a vibe, it's a look if that's what you wanna go for. But I definitely kind of am into stacking my rings now, so. Um, this is definitely what I wanted. I wanted the smaller band. So I'm very, 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 very happy. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I know this is kind of a longer video, but I wanted to kind of do that review of um, my two items that I've had for a year and then talk about, you know, this one that I now purchased. So it is now back on my hand where it has been since Friday. But um, yeah, I would recommend any of these pieces. Like I said, if you are on a more um, modest budget, you may wanna look at other jewelry brands to get something that you really want or you like. Um, and then if you wanna splurge, if you wanna spend a bit of more money, you want that name behind it, um, you want something that has more of a resale value, yeah, Cartier is good. I think I'm more of a Cartier girl than any other um, jewelry brand um, as it relates to luxury. Like I went to Van Cleef back in February 
And I don't think I'm, I'm a Van Cleef girl. <laughs> I think I'm a Cartier girl. There's so much like different things that I really like and can appreciate from Cartier that I just don't have that same feeling and sentiment for with Van Cleef and Arpels um, or any other jewelry brand that I've seen thus far. So that might change. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you do share it with anyone else who likes these review type of videos. Um, as it relates to jewelry, not just bags, we're trying to diversify over here, the portfolio. Um, and also make sure you do um, subscribe to the channel. You guys, you do that by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos. Again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.